Executive Director of IOKO, COP Mamiya Tiwa Adodankwa, on Monday indicated that her office will return the docket on Cecilia Dapa to the office of the Special Prosecutor after receiving advice from the Attorney General. But co-chair of the Citizen Movement Against Corruption, Edem Senanu, says this is unfortunate as IOKO is mandated by law to investigate money laundering matters. OSP is acting as a whistleblower told you from what we have done, there's a disconnect, there's a disparity between her income as a public officer and the sums of money that we've seen in her possession, whether in her accounts or otherwise. And so based on our investigation, we're asking you to do a deeper investigation looking at money laundering. I feel that this is unfortunate because the least we would expect as citizens for Yoko to do before they tell us that there's nothing more to be done, is they should have investigated. And it is not that OSP is supposed to provide them all the information. Whatever OSP provided them is just a starting point. He believes Iyoko should have at least started its own probe since it has the mandate to look into money laundering allegations. Iyoko is the entity that has been tasked under the law to follow the issues of money laundering not the police. So even if the police finished, then the question is that then we say, oh, it, the police are not the agency that is empowered to prosecute this issue. So they now have to transfer back to Yoko. That's just making it more complicated. Otherwise, then why did we establish Yoko in the first place? I'm not sure the medium to long-term implications of that statement is being well thought through.